Welcome to Tetranation 2023. This Tetra solution comes from the ever-talented engineer and student volunteer in Halifax, Nova Scotia. 12-year-old Joe Robichaud loved to ride his bike with his friends until he got cancer and lost his left leg 60 years ago. For decades, Joe would think back about the good old times riding around the streets with the neighborhood boys, wishing he could get back on a bicycle. In the early 1990s, Joe contacted his local Tetra chapter on the advice of the prosthetics department to see if they could help him rig up a two-wheeled bicycle so he could ride again. Regrettably, that did not work out. But then, in 2016, he discovered adaptive hand cycles. Unfortunately, Joe felt unsafe riding it on residential streets. Because of how low to the ground the bike is, drivers have difficulty seeing him. And since it's such a unique piece of equipment, there were no commercial trailers to transport the bike somewhere safe to ride. Enter Tetra. After receiving the request for assistance, the volunteer came and took measurements of the hand cycle, created a 3D design, and got to work. Since receiving the trailer and a set of Tetra lights, Joe has been cycling safely on the rails to trails in Nova Scotia. From Joe, the bike and the carrier have given me a sense of independence and freedom. From the confines of walking with an artificial leg and most recently walking on crutches for the last 12 years, to knowing and believing that anything is possible. I know I have the independence and freedom to ride anywhere, anytime. I have a lot to catch up on. If you think this project should win Tetra Nation 2023 for the Atlantic region, vote now.